Hi, I'm Jane Stafford, and I'm here to tell you what's coming your way in 2021 at JST's Online Guild. I can't believe that we are starting season five. In 2017, this all started because I wanted to lay down a really good foundation for new weavers. 2018, we added the workshop color and design. In 2019, we pushed the boundaries of plain weave, and in 2020, we studied twills on four. So moving forward to 2021, we're gonna add a little bit more about twills, and then we're gonna dive into the lace weaves. We'll start with a really good look at eight shaft turn twill, weaving 12 towels from one warp. You won't believe all the different looks possible just by changing your tie up and color. We'll overlay weave structure on graphic, play with color, and build your confidence. Then we start our study of lace weaves. We'll look at canvas, huck, Swedish, spot Bronson, and Atwater Bronson lace. They all have similarities, but when we study them, we'll learn that each one has its very own distinct characteristics. And when we know those characteristics, we'll be able to design with them and highlight their individual beauty. So we'll start with canvas, we'll draft it, warp it in beautiful organic linen, play with tie-up, color and weave sequences, and develop variations on a theme. You'll be hooked on lace by the time you've woven this beautiful sampler. Next comes Huck. We will draft it, learn its DNA, and we'll learn how to get lace, weft and warp floats, and how to put those three elements together to create different combinations in the tread length. The lace weaves are really just plain weave with some added floats in the warp and weft, which means that any lace weave can have color and weave sequences overlaid on top. The gap we weave is truly amazing. So many color and weave combinations are superimposed on a huck threading and then explored in the tread length. Swedish lace grows from huck, but now we can repeat units and even combine the two together for stunning results. Spot Bronson is a wee marvel on four harnesses. It allows us to create diagonal lines in our lace, and that means that we can use our twill theory from last year to come up with threading ideas. I have wonderful examples inspired from twills, where we take a graphic woven in plain weave, add lace inspired from twills, and then we follow it by adding log cabin. How cool is that? Atwater Bronson Lace builds from Bronson Spot, and once we understand its characteristics, we'll play with block arrangements to get different graphics, all from the same threading. By exploring all the different ways of drafting these structures, we'll learn how we can put them all together to create very complex looking laces on just four shafts. And it will help us decipher drafts from our favorite weaving books. It will take away the mystery and help us celebrate the brilliance of weavers who have gone before us. Our last sample explores the possibility of laces and twills living together in one cloth, and we'll truly understand how so many four shaft structures share commonalities that tie them all together. As with all previous years, you will get pages of PDFs to add to your book, an ever-growing index and continued support on the forum. Remember, JST episodes never go away. You can join any time throughout the year, and as long as you're a member, it is all there waiting for you to learn at your own pace in your own time. I hope you'll join us this year. We're going to have so